everyone and welcome back to another episode of Cassie L Talks. I have not done a video in a while because I have been doing a lot of volunteering with Indie Game Alliance and the game I'm sharing with you today is actually a prototype version of a game coming out by an Indie Game Alliance member. It is called Vast the Crystal Caverns by Leader Games. Vast is a dungeon crawler kind of game that plays for one to five players, lasts from, it can be like an hour to an hour and a half, and you can be any one of five different characters in this game. Each character has their own objective, and you go around through this cave trying to either collect treasure or smash crystals or slay the dragon. So there's all different kinds of things that you can do. The game has a lot of diversity, and I'm really excited to share it with you. So let's go ahead and take a look at Vast at Crystal Caverns. All right, everybody, welcome to Vast, the Crystal Caverns. The story of Vast is uh, about this cave here, which is in town, and the cave contains treasure. But where there is treasure, there are also dragons. And so we are a knight trying to go through this cave to find the treasure and kill a dragon. However, the dragon is not the only thing that we could encounter in this cave. We could also encounter a thief, and we could also encounter a bunch of different goblin tribes. And of course, we can encounter the dragon, and I, because this is a prototype, I don't have the pieces, but imagine we have a piece here for a dragon that's sleeping, and then another piece for a dragon that's awake. And the cave itself is kind of out to get us. So the way the game works is you can play one to five players. You pick any of these roles that you want, the cave, the knight, the thief, the goblins, or the dragon, and you have your own different kinds of goals that you're trying to accomplish throughout the game. For example, the knight is trying to kill the dragon, the goblins over here are trying to kill the knight. The dragon itself is asleep, and so what they're trying to do is wake up, first of all, and then escape the cave. The cave itself is a player, and the cave is trying to collapse in on itself to pretty much kill all the players. And the thief's goal is to go around and try to collect treasure or gems because the thief it can't die. So it's trying to break its curse by collecting these things so it can finally move on with his life. So the way it works is you're gonna have your knight and your knight's gonna go around throughout the cave and slowly start exposing parts of the cave. So the way the game works is the knight's gonna go around throughout the cave and they're gonna slowly start exposing these tiles which are parts of the cave. And as they move throughout and start exposing things, the cave is going to come through and add pieces that are dark because they're not exposed yet, you haven't traveled through them to these different areas of the cave. And as the cave starts to place more tiles, they're only gonna have so many tiles to place before they get to a point where there's no tiles to place, it's time to collapse the cave. While that's happening, this knight's going around and exposing different tiles and these different icons are showing up on tiles that are going to make actions happen. Right here is a symbol for an event, like the cave could play another tile or something could collapse or a treasure could be placed. Here is a treasure icon, so uh, your knight might find treasure there. And you keep flipping tiles as you're playing the game and exposing more pieces, and then the cave is gonna slowly start putting in more and more of these dark tiles until they run out. And while the knight is doing this, you're also gonna have these goblins come in on these different dark tiles, and they're gonna try to come after you because their goal is to kill you. So as they come in, they're also going to slowly start exposing tiles and more tiles will be placed. And while all of this is happening, you've got the dragon that's trying to go around and place different kinds of things like gems. Here's some fun little gems. Let's just put them out there. So the dragon's going around putting out these gems. And as they're doing other things, they're going to slowly find themselves waking up. And while they're also doing that, you've got the thief going around trying to collect up these gems. So there's a whole bunch of stuff going on and it's like kind of like a dungeon crawler, but on a table. So it's really neat, and I like all of the variety that you can do with the game with how many players you have and how many different actions you can take. Each character gets their own player board. This is the player board for the night, and it looks like it's got a lot of stuff going on, but once you have figured out what your character does, you get your character set. And the way I play is, you know, I played the night, figured out how to play the night, and then I moved on to, let's say, I moved on to the cave and I learned how to do the cave. They have, it's great, they have turn summaries here, they have information down here that you're gonna need that's specific to your type of player, and all these different icons tell you how you're gonna play as the cave. And they do it with, it's great, they uh, did it with all of them. Like here's the goblin character, and then they have all of the summary information on the side, the dragon, and the dragon has all this cool information here, and over here uh, is like, you would have all of this filled up while it's asleep, 
and you're slowly moving these pieces down here to wake them up. And then here is the thief board, so you can slowly give yourself bonuses and move around, do different kinds of things so you can get tre blah, 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 treasure and cause injury to the knight and goblins if you have to. So each player is gonna get their own mat and depending on what kind of player you are, you'll get really cool pieces. Like these pieces go with the goblin to help keep track of how many members of each goblin tribe there are because these represent one, two, three different goblin tribes. So ooh, these help keep track of goblins. We get cool little tokens that you can use for the thief. The dragon gets a bunch of cool cubes. Oh, keep dropping stuff. Uh, cool cubes as well. And they also have this cool little dragon die that's specific to the dragon. And if the dragon's not in the game, you'll find that sometimes you're rolling this to figure out what happens next for some uh, actions. The crystal tiles actually that you smash also, they look like this. And then here are the cute little crystal tokens. Here's a couple of the treasure icons and the treasure icons the cave gets to place to help kind of lure the knight around. And what's cool is because everybody's kind of doing their own thing. So while the knight's going around, the knight has an agenda to find the dragon and kill it. But the knight also wants, if there's no dragon, to collect treasure and to also smash crystals. So the cave player might place treasure in areas where there are no crystals just to lure the knight away from where crystals are. The goblins here are gonna go around and they can be really sneaky. They can go and smash crystals also, um, which won't be helpful for the knight. And while the knight's going around, they're trying to get up to the knight and kill the knight also. So it, it's all kinds of cool, crazy stuff. And it's really fun. I like how much diversity there is in the game and the kind of thought of everything. Like they have these cards here that they label as variant cards. And so if you're playing with uh, only a certain amount of players and you don't have all five, you can choose and the rule book tells you, you get these different kinds of variants that let you do different things. Like, so if there's no dragon and you pull a card that has to do with a dragon related thing, um, you know, nothing would happen, but they fix that by creating these kinds of variant cards. I also took time to consider uh, the length of gameplay and how difficult it might be uh, to complete your goal. So they created these different kinds of difficulty cards. These are, you know, to change the difficulty for the knight, difficulty for the goblin, for the cave, and you can make it easier for you to win the game, which actually, uh, by easier, I mean it could also be quicker to win the game, or you can make it more difficult. So there's this, I'm telling you, this game has so many different options. It's awesome. They have these cool tiles here. So if you don't want to play with just these basic tiles, they also have ones where they add different effects that are like little terrain tiles. You've got little spores and then you've got river. You've also got lava. And so you don't have to play with all of these pieces. They make it really easy if you are new to the game, uh, how to make it easy on yourself, learn the character, and then make it more difficult if you choose to do so. The game also comes with this really cute little bag that contains a bunch of these pieces in here that are more cave related. And they look kind of like the tiles, but these let the cave do special actions against the players that are in the cave. And then each character also is gonna have cards that they get, like these green ones. And it's pretty cool. I'm glad that they color coordinated the green ones. Green is all goblin. Anything that's green, you can probably guess is gonna be goblin. Anything that's red is dragon related. So they did, like they thought of everything. Uh, this game is really cool. I really recommend it if you like kind of like dungeon crawler games because this is a really good game where everybody's kind of paying attention. You're not just sitting around waiting for someone to roll a die, do their action, do their talking. You know, 15 minutes go by and they finally let you do something. It's really great and I definitely recommend you check this out. So that was Vast. I hope you really liked the video and you enjoyed seeing all of the different cool aspects of the game. I know I didn't get into too much detail, but there's, like I said, each character has their own thing going on. So it would have been like a lot of stuff to share with you. So if you want to get to know all of the nitty gritty details, you'll just have to go ahead and pre-order this copy. I've got links for that down below. If you like this video, uh, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. That's Cassie L signing out with Vast the Crystal Caverns by Leader Games.